In this video, I'm going to try and show you how we teach long multiplication, a two digit by two digit multiplication sum using the compact method and the expanded method. The resources I'm going to be using are a tables cards with a full set of tables on and the place value cards, which you can see the colored cards there. I'll try and do both methods side by side, showing you first expanded method and then moving on to compact method. Okay, so I'm starting with the expanded method here. I'm using the place value cards to basically show that the number 32 is made from a 30 and a 2 and the 25 is made from a 20 and 5. That's really essential, the children understand that if, they can, if they're going to be able to do the expanded method. Okay, so we've got the sum laid out. I'm using a plain card here. If you're able to use columns it makes it much easier for the children and it's fine to mark up hundreds, tens and units as the columns. The first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to work up and down and say that 5 times 2. I'm going to write it on the side and I'm going to bracket it so it doesn't get mixed up in our calculations. At this point it's fine to use a tables card if you so want to. 5 times 2 gives us an answer of 10. This way we're going to work across, so sticking with the number 5, I'm going to move across. At this point it's important to remember that 32 is made out of 30 and 2. So the calculation becomes 30 times 5. Again, bracketed to keep it out of and keep it out of the calculation. What do we teach the children is to say 3 times 5, and again go to the table square if they need to. Okay, tables card, and look for 3 times 5, of course is 15. We make it 10 times bigger by putting a 0 on, giving us a total of 150. Next we move over to the 2, which is of course worth 20, from our 25. So the children know that they're now working with 20. 20, working on a diagonal, 20 times 2, bracketed. Again, the children need to use the table card, of course they can. 2 times 2 is 4, make it 10 times bigger is 40. Again, we work on 25, and the children should know that now that it's 20 by 30. Calculations written on the side, 20 times 30. Bracketed, 2 times 3 is 6. Because we've taken two zeros off, we need to add two zeros on. 6 with two zeros put back on gives us 600. We're now into the adding up part of the sum. We don't put an add in sign there, but that essentially is what's happening with calculation. All zeros, 5 and 4 and 1 gives us an answer of 10. We teach the children 0 down, 1 underneath, and then to look at it from the side so that it should still read 10, reading across ways. 6 and 1 is 7, and 1 more, 800 is the answer. Okay, so now we're going to look at the compact method. We'll compare it slightly to the expanded method as we go along. I've set the same sum up, 32 times 25. Not so important that they understand the place value at this point, but if they're able to do compact method, I would expect a, a very good understanding of place value anyway. Okay, so what we say to the children at this point, still following the same direction that we did in the last uh, sum, 5 times 2 is 10. This time, we're putting 0 down, and the 10 goes underneath there as a small 1. We're then saying to the children, 5 times 3, which was different to the previous sum of 30. But because it's compact, we say 5 times 3 at this point. And again, it's something difficult the children do find hard to understand. Use the table card by all means, if that's what the children need. There's still no problem with using that. 5 times 3 is, of course, 15, and the 1 is 16 and we write the number down 16. At this point, if the children want to rub out or cross out the number one from beneath, that's fine. Moving on to the two, which of course we know is 20, we teach the children at this point, you must always put a zero down. Zero goes down. It's of course to do with the place value. If the children can't understand why, we just explain, because it's a maths rule. Move on to two times two. That's of course four. And three times two, 6. At this point we draw the answer line, it does become now an adding up sum, we don't put the symbol there, 
and off we go with adding up. 6 and 4 again is 10, 1 comes underneath, 6 and 1 is 7, and 1 more gives us 800. Both answers, of course, the same. This is a lot quicker method, okay, it's a lot slightly more complicated. The children like this method because they can actually see all their workings out, and if they do make a mistake, they can easily go back and check. Whereas with this method, it's not so easy. However, it is a quicker and more efficient method.